job. So there we have lots and lots of cushions ready for our cubby house. So that is going to be handy. So I think everything ready to go. Time to start building. Like that, taking out some of those blankets and some of that equipment, we've easily turned it into a cubby theatre house. Yeah! Now just before we get started on today's episode kids, let me just remind you about our merch items available on our website, like our mini Aussie hat made just for kids' heads. One of my favourites, Aussie socks, with a nice little message reminding you to always stay keen. You can get yourself a sweatband, just like Aussie's, but even cooler, with Aussie's logo. Or a mini replica Aussie tee, made just for you kids. Or brand new to our website is our personalised video message, made just for you from Aussie. Right now, available on our website, aussieforkids.com. Aussie, 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 oi! Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day Aussie. 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 Now today, we are going to have plenty of fun. We are going to build our very own indoor cubby house, or as some of our little friends and fans out there might call it, a blanket fort. Now when I was a kid, I remember on cold winter's days, spending hours and hours with my friends and my brothers and sisters building blanket fort or a cubby house in my very own lounge room or living room at home with lots of pillows and blankets and chairs and all sorts of things that I could find around the house to make my very own private little cubby house hidey hole where I could play games, watch videos and have lots and lots of fun with my friends. So today we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So kids, here we are in this beautiful space. Now what do you see? A lounge room? A living room? No, I see the perfect place to build the most amazing cubby house or blanket fort with you guys today. So let's gather all the equipment that we need to get this cubby house started. So what do we need to build a blanket fort or a cubby house? Well, we need lots of blankets. I've got a few here. Blanket. 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 That ought to do the job. What else do we need? Pillows or cushions. Now this lounge has lots and lots of cushions which are perfect for building a cubby house. So there we have lots and lots of cushions ready for our cubby house. some more cushions. Lots and lots and lots of cushions. These ones are going to be really handy to make a side wall. Look at that. That looks like a perfect side of the house or our cubby. Now a few other things that are going to come in handy are chairs so you can have a rest. No, they're going to be perfect for putting those blankets over the top of. Get those ready. And then it's really good to clean the area with a broom and then comes in handy 
for putting the blanket over the top of, like a tent. So that is going to be very good. If you've got some wooden poles, they're going to work as well. Now I find that I love ironing, but what I love even more is using an ironing board to put the blankets over too, because that gives us lots of space underneath to create our cubby house or our blanket fort. So that is going to be handy. Got some other things here too, pegs to hold those blankets in place. And these giant pegs, not really giant pegs, but they're like big clip things that you might find in mum and dad's garage. They will be really handy for holding things in place. And another thing that's good for holding things in place is heavy books. So I've got some of my favorites here, they're really heavy. That can also help hold those blankets down when we're creating our fort. So I think we've got everything ready to go. It's time to start building. All right, now we're gonna start with one of the walls. I'm gonna get this guy, oh, pop him over here. That is gonna be our wall. But we want a nice, comfy space so that we can relax on inside the cubby house. These cushions from the lounge are perfect. No, not quite finished. But what we have finished is the floor of our cubby. Very comfy. But we need another wall. Let's get the second wall. See, these chairs are becoming very handy. Strong. And the best thing about these walls this is going to block out any of the light coming from the outside because we want it nice and dark inside, don't we? Yep. Okay, boys and girls, now we have our pole or our broom and we're going to use that right here in the middle because that is what's going to hold the blankets up and create like a tent shape for our cubby house or our blanket fort. So we're just going to wedge it underneath this lounge. Look at that, that's going to hold in place, that's pretty sturdy, I like it. Slide that pillow back in, cushion back in, perfect, okay, so we've got a really good sturdy pole at the back that's going to hold the blankets in place at the back, but this, a lot of blankets are going to come all the way out the front, we want them to hang over something, we need something to hold it up, and that is where our trusty ironing board it's gonna be perfect. We've just gotta figure out where to put it in. Oh, that's great. All right, now I think we're ready to put the blankets on top. I'm gonna try and use this as sort of the middle. Let's see how these blankets go. adjustments as you're going. That's okay. And your cubby house or your blanket fort will look probably completely different to mine. It doesn't matter. As long as you have somewhere that you can hide and play and spend hours having fun with your friends and family. Oh, that is so fun. 
It's so dark in there. I reckon we should have another blanket over the top, over the front. This is going to be the best cubby house ever. And now I've got a doorway. Kids, we're nearly ready. We're gonna make it really comfy on the inside. So I've got some of those extra cushions and I've stuck them at the back here. Come and check it out. Come on in. Oh yeah. Oh, this is comfy. But I'll tell you what it needs. It needs some really cool lights. Look what I found. Check this out. Okay, I've just set up some really cool fairy lights in here. Just to add a bit of mood, a bit of fun. Get ready for the big reveal. How oh, cool is that? Ah, so much room. It's so cool in here. I could spend hours and hours in here playing games, chilling out, having a chat to my friends. My family. Come on, come on. Now we close the door and see how cool it is in here. Bye bye. Hey, this is my space. Now nah, you're invited. Come and check it out. Look at these awesome fairy lights, adding a bit of mood. Bit of fun. Oh, and it's so dark in here. It's my little private space away from those grown ups. So I can spend some time with my friends, my brothers, and my sisters, and just chill out. Have lots of fun. And maybe even read one of my favourite books. But I will need some more lights. I'm just going to open this door. This is easy. easy as that. I can still be in my cubby and I can read myself. The very super bear. <laughs> so the best thing about these blankets like this is that that becomes a door and it's easy to get in and out of and you can easily just pull it back. It makes it really dark inside. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with this blanket fort, with this cubby house that I've created here today with you kids. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so cool. There's room for plenty in there. But I've just had an awesome idea. The best thing about this being in the lounge room of this house is that the TV, the big TV, is right there. So we could easily make a few modifications, take a few things out, fix a few things up, and we could sit in there, lay in there, and actually watch some of our favorite shows on the big TV, like you can watch some Aussie episodes. So let's get it set up and turn it into like a theatre cubby or a theatre blanket fort. That's a cool idea. that taking out some of those blankets and some of that equipment we've easily turned it into a cubby theater house theater fort I can sit back here and watch the big screen TV with my favorite episodes of Aussie So there you go kids, hopefully you've learned lots of little tips about how to make your very own cubby house or blanket fort at your living room in your house. And I hope you have lots of fun doing it. Kids, we'll see you on a brand new episode of Aussie this weekend. Until then, stay keen, 
Now I think it's time for some well-earned screen time in my blanket fort. See you kids. Now kids, I hope you loved that episode and learnt plenty. We want to see your creations, so make sure you take some photos of your amazing blanket fort and cubby houses, and every now and then we'll choose some of our favourites and send you out a prize. Kids, have fun, and as always, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon, kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of